Happy Thursday, everybody. So this video is a little bit tricky to make because a lot of it's wiring and that's really difficult to film, I guess, because you're either running back and forth and back and forth and back and forth on the boat, or you're in a teeny, teeny, tiny spot cramped in one little corner and you can't take a video of anything anyways. So enjoy. All right, so I have two, they're two foot by four foot quarter inch sheets of mahogany plywood. Um, and next to the companion way, we have an extension for, we're going to put a couple of like breaker switches and then just a couple of like toggle switches in. So I've templated it out in cardboard. Um, and then this isn't the right size, but we're going to have a door in it. And this just is going to allow us to customize where we want to put stuff. And from the outside, we'll be able to reach all these breakers, which will be like nav lights um running lights all of those but so now i've got all the templates so i'm just going to trace them out we'll cut them out and then i'll have to work on building corners so i'll have to you know, build like solid mahogany corners so it's, they're rounded and look nice This is what I mocked up in cardboard. Um, so now templating it out, uh, I've got plywood pieces. They're not hooked in because it's too cold to glue them. We're working on cutting our opening, so I just got this. Um, it's a six position breaker panel and it's waterproof. Um, so we'll run a lot of our lights that you'll need easy access to. Um, like. Uh, like a mast light or navigation lights, um, instruments, stuff like that will all be on this one. And then all the other uh, circuits are over here. And then this will also have a big door in it. Um, which will look like this door over here. We're gonna mount on the face of this. And then we're also gonna put, I believe a couple switches here for some color, the lights that are in here. The closets, they'll be red, white, so we'll select those. And then I think our key for our engine will also be in this panel just so it's out of the majority of the weather.
finally got warm enough to assemble the companionway breaker panel. So here we are assembling it with epoxy on all of the corner seams. And then we are going to use tape to help hold all of the joints into position as the epoxy cures. This kind of went together as a puzzle piece. You can see I'm sliding pieces in to help hold stuff together. It's all the epoxy cured. I did go back and add extra stabilizing blocks on the inside corners to give it this more rigidity as I'm sure it will be used to help stabilize someone going up or down the companionway at some point. Alrighty, don't mind the blue tape, but there'll be some switches. It'll be all light. This is the ignition. And then this will be the door that was there, which is this door right here. I'm gonna go there um, to get access to the back wall of the wires and to this equipment back here. Hopefully it'll look nice and blend in fairly well once we put a coat of finish on it. Last time that I was here, I got excited and forgot to show it, but I put a coat of urethane on this. Um, so it all blends in a little bit more. We've got the breakers in. Still need to wire them, but the, this section is looking a lot nicer and it should be really nice and functional. Be able to reach um, like nav lights and instruments to power on and off and some of those kind of things right up here so you can reach them probably almost from the helm might be a bit of a reach but you won't have to crawl all the way down through the boat so that'll be nice to be able to reach them right here and then this will be the, the key for the motor to turn that on and off also easily accessible i think that one will be able to be reached from the helm but it'll keep it out of the weather a bit more So, tonight, we are going to work on pulling wires for lights. We have a, if you can see that, two strand. Uh, it's got a red and black core, but it's all encased, it's black. Wire. So we're going to be pulling that behind this boards for the paneling. Um, so I'm going to have to cut a little notch up here so I can feed it down behind it. And then we'll connect into the terminal blocks down below. And this is going to be for your new overhead lighting. Um, don't have the lights yet, but we're going to put one above each set T. The port side is done. This is the starboard side. I pulled the two galley ones earlier this week, and then the forward ones we're reusing because the lights are still there, just the wires were no longer usable. So slowly we're getting all the wiring harness all redone. Alright, so, sorry for the poor lighting, but I'm now going to untape the, the bit. It uh, served its part. Get that side so we don't lose it. Grab our wire. Grab the rope. Our tape again. Ready. 
needs to be. We go back to the top side. Full wire. This is where you want to be careful. If you're not careful, it'll pull the wire out or the rope out. And you lose the whole thing. This is kind of boring to watch, but this is a lot of what I've been doing on the boat is wiring. We're using a seven wire multi-conductor cable. So we only have to pull one wire instead of seven. So this wire is on the starboard side of our boat. It's for all of our lights. And so we will have overhead lights, multi-color lights, and some courtesy floor lights that will be run through this cable. Some things like easy to access. I gotta go in there. But the, the hole is uh, small, so I gotta go crawl in through the copper locker. Way back there. Crawl back in, so I can do some wiring. All of our 12 volt wiring on the boat will terminate onto this panel. And from here it will go to the DC breaker or fuse panels. And it's a bit chaotic because I was waiting for wire tray to come in, which is what I'm installing right here. The wire tray allows you to organize all the loose ends and have a very clean looking installation when you're done with it. And being an engineer and dealing with automation, this is what, how we organize our wires. And so it made me very happy to actually get this installed and I really did feel not like, sh I didn't feel like showing this to everyone in while well, I was working on it until I had this because it just made me kind of ashamed to have that messy of wiring going on. Oh. Nice, but it looks a lot better. Cleaned it up nice. Is it working? I think it's working. All right, so. So I just got here to the boat, grabbed lunch for Philip. got some Chick-fil-A, he's at the barn. Ooh, now I'm trying to get all my winter clothes back on. It's the crappiest part about working on a boat in the middle of winter. I can't find my armhole. There it is. Oh. got a t-shirt and then a scarf and then a long sleeve and then a fleece and then a down vest and I've got my shell and then just in case I need it I've got like a Carhartt coat we got gloves wool socks fleece lined leggings sweatpants and then like Carhartt insulated pants on top of that It's a whole, it's a whole thing. So we gotta go, ready? I can't even find my zippers. It's only a quarter zip. Okay, ready? One. And then, two, three, four, and then if it's real cold, I'll have five with a Carhartt. So, anyhow, Chick-fil-A. I'm excited. This is twice today I've gotten food. I had I had baked beet earlier because I left without eating lunch. And I was freaking starving. <laughs> so hungry. Anyhow, all right, I gotta put my non-barn shoes on. Because my poopy area are not gonna work. We're working on the boat. I wouldn't really suggest working on a boat in January in Michigan in little mesh shoes, but it's all we got. So that's what we're gonna ow, use. I hate getting dressed in my car. It sucks. <sighs> it's a workout every time. Oh well. See you later.
What you doing back there? Uh, unwiring. Un unwiring? Unwiring. Unwiring. Highly scientific stuff. What? Said highly scientific stuff. Highly scientific? Yeah. Oh yeah. Highly scientific. Are you just asking or are you recording me? I'm recording you. Oh, okay. Wave to the camera! <clears throat> yeah, well, it wasn't so much that no one wanted to go up that mast, because the mast is 105 feet tall. Um, but we were, we were more joking about the fact that I would not be going up because I'm afraid of heights. And that if I want to take a picture of myself at the top of the mast, I should do it right now while it's five feet off the ground and <laughs> horizontal. <laughs> and I said, that's a great idea. I said, I never get pictures of myself at the top of the mast because that's always something that you do. So this is a box of wires that I pulled out of the boat so far. And none of these were being used. So this is all previous, previously used or previous wiring, mostly for electronics that was just left in the boat. There's a lot of wires in that box. Uh, I don't know if I'm done yet. Okay. I don't even know where that one went. Yeah, where'd it go? What color? Is it yellow? Yeah. Found it. And this will get... Oi! Guy down here. Into the box. Did you also throw this little green black one? And this guy? Yeah, I threw it over too. Alright, so this is the hanging locker just behind the V-berth. Um, and let me crawl in first. Alright, I am now inside the hanging locker. And so we are wiring, there we go, we are wiring a light. So this light is a multicolor, like, four inch strip light. So it's got red, green, blue, and white. Um, and so it is, the power comes through this and then you actually switch your negative wires to turn them on. Um, so I'm using this switch right here. And so when the closet opens, it'll turn the light on. So we're running the power through here. It'll go on the black wire. And then we have a, let's see, this is number four. So this would be your red and this is your white one and they'll get crimped in so then when the closet opens at night we'll be in switch it so it'll turn on red and in the daytime it'll turn on white that way when we open the closet door we'll be able to see what's inside so but it does take a little bit more thought and wiring to get it all to work correctly and it's very difficult to show what i'm doing because uh well i don't know if i can spin around I don't know if you're going to be able to see me, but I'm uh, kind of cramped inside here. <laughs> so. Well, sorry, I didn't get to try it in bird a video.
All right, so we are gonna call Heather on FaceTime and uh, tell her that the lights work. We'll see how this works, see if she's excited or not. Hey. No, it's fine. You want to see something exciting? What? Yay! And, and? Ooh. So now you got lights in the, the beepers. Cool. So. That's nice. I don't know. I was sick of not giving progress, so I'm testing some things temporarily. So. Gotcha. Because. Sometimes it's just helpful to be like, hey, I got some progress done, so. Yeah. So they seem to work, so. 